What's up everybody, Destin Legary here for IGN.com and today we're taking a look at Mass Effect 3's character creator and character import features. Now the character creator lets you choose a few different options such as whether you play as an action character, role playing or story character, role playing being the traditional Mass Effect experience, and it also lets you create a character, customize his look, and you even get to choose who died in the original Mass Effect, either Kaden Alenko or Ashley. Now there's a ton of customization options as you can see and we'll just show you a fast forwarded version of us creating a character. So as you can see, you still get to pick your class and begin your game with your created character. Now let's take a look at what happens when you import a character. Jumping right in here, uh, we go to the main menu and you start a new game, just like in the you know, previous experience with Mass Effect 2, and you go to import Mass Effect 2 character. Now once that screen comes up, you can see your characters and all the careers that you've had. I only have one. And now here's some saves from that career. I played an infiltrator. I beat the game on insane. And it has a list of all the decisions that I've made before I select which profile I'm gonna import. Lots of big decisions there in the menu. Now, once you pick what you'll be importing, you get the sequence of the Normandy shooting through space and you can still adjust your appearance or go with a default appearance. I'm going to accept my imported face. I just went default character since Mass Effect 1. And you even get to change your character. So I don't want to play an infiltrator. I want to do a vanguard this time. I've never done the vanguard before, so I decided to pick that class this time. Because it is pretty intense in Mass Effect 3. And there you go. I'm John Shepard, I'm Earthborn, I was a sole survivor, and I'm a vanguard. And now we begin Mass Effect 3. So when you start out, you get the same intro that you had in the demo. But there's because you have those choices, they will reference some things that happen. For example, they reference what happened during the Arrival DLC and the, the Mass Effect Relay that was destroyed. Spoilers if you haven't played the Arrival, Arrival DLC yet and some other things. But let's jump forward into upgrading our character to see what kind of bonus perks we get for importing a maxed out character. My character was maxed out in Mass Effect 1. I have every achievement in that game. I beat it on Insane. So everything was done in that game. And the same thing with Mass Effect 2. Beat all the DLC, got all the achievements, eh, and um, I imported a max level character from Mass Effect 2 into Mass Effect 3. Okay, so we've jumped into the mission a little bit, um, the very first mission, and let's go into the squad, see how many points. Now, as you can see, uh, one of two points have actually already been spent. So I'm given 59 points to start out for importing the character that I imported. The first thing I do is I make sure I have all abilities, so I put one point in every single one of my abilities, so I have a full range of options when I play through the game. And you can max out two of your trees for Shepard. I decide to max out Biotic Charge and Nova. As you can see, we get 30 points for squad mates if you import a max level character. One point is spent automatically on Concussive Shot for this particular character, but you get about 30 points for any of your characters in Mass Effect 3, right off the bat. For more Mass Effect 3 tips, be sure to keep checking back on IGN's Mass Effect 3 wiki. And for more Mass Effect 3 coverage, be sure to keep it locked on IGN.com.